Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about the efficiency of an automobile in practical terms. So let's say we have an automobile, the efficiency that it gets is 20%. We know that the engine itself can get more, but there's all kinds of friction and wind resistance, all kinds of things we have to take into account. So let's say that the efficiency, the actual efficiency the car gets is 20%. So how much power do we need? How much power does the engine need to generate in order to keep the car going at 60 miles per hour, which is about 96 kilometers per hour or about 26.8 meters per second, assuming that the car gets 34 miles to the gallon, which is 6.92 liters per 100 kilometers. And let's say that one liter of gasoline produces 34.8 million joules. So the efficiency is the work we get divided by the heat put into the system. So essentially it's the power delivered divided by the power consumed. And in this case, it'll be about a one to five ratio, right? We only get about one fifth of the power to actually get out of the gasoline. So the power delivered is now need to be divided by the power consumed. So how much power do we consume? Well, we take the number of liters per distance traveled in kilometers. We multiply that times the energy per liter, so liters cancels out. Now we have energy over distance in kilometers. We multiply that times distance in meters over time because we know we're traveling 26.8 meters per second. Of course, we now have to get rid of the kilometers and turn into meters, so we have to have the, the ratio there. So now we have an equation here in the denominator, or at least a, an expression in the denominator, that tells us how much power is consumed by this automobile and we want power delivered. Now all we have to do is solve for power delivered, efficiency times this, plug in some numbers, and we should get the ratio. So, this is how we do that. Power delivered is equal to the efficiency, the efficiency times liters over distance. So in this case, we get 6.92 liters divided by the distance of 100 kilometers. We multiply times energy per liter, which we get over there, so that's 34.8 times 10 to the sixth joules per one liter. Distance per time, that gives us 26.8 meters per second. And now, of course, we have to multiply the times one kilometer divided by 1,000 meters like this. And now notice the liters cancel out, the kilometers cancel out, the meters cancel out, and we end up with joules per second, which is the terms of watts. So now the efficiency can be replaced by 0 0.2, and now we need a calculator to figure out what the power delivered is. All right, so this is equal to 0.2 times 6.92 times 34.8 e to the sixth, times 26.8, divided by 1,000, and divided by 100. And we get 12,000, roughly 12,900. All right, so this is equal to 12,900 watts. Now, if we want to convert that to horsepower, so one horsepower is equal to 746 watts, so divide that by 746, hmm. 12,900 divided by 746 equals, that gives us about 17.3 horsepower. Now that is the power delivered, but how much power do we need to consume? Well, we need to consume five times as much because the efficiency is 0.2, so power consumed equals power delivered divided by the efficiency. So in this case, that is 17, 17, oh, that's a terrible 7.3 horsepower divided by 0 0.2. So essentially multiply times five and we get about 86.5 horsepower. So that's how much we have to consume in order to deliver 17.3 horsepower to the car if the car has an efficiency of 20%, then it's kind of nice to see how that is calculated. That is how it's done.